Hey, Shalom, Tama Akiyam, and Akwathiyam, and Yahawashai, Hamashiach, all my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Man, Shalom, Shalom, man, it feels good to be back on this plow, you know, just got off of my labors, and uh, my woman and her, and the, and the kids, and our children went ahead and they went out, you know, and that leaves me some time to get on this plow, man, I've been yearning, you know, to get on this, man, but you seen all them riches, all that gold, all the all the storehouses of the Gentiles, all the all the just wealth, you know, that's going to be converted into the men of the Lord, man. You know, I've been doing a lot of videos concerning the doom and gloom, you know, and it's the reality of things. That's what's coming ahead, you know. But us being men of the Lord, you know, sons and daughters of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You know, we have good things to look forward to, you know, and it's even balance to everything. So as horrible as it's going to be for two thirds, you know, these Gentiles, these nations, you know, because the judgments and curses and the, and the plagues are sent, man. They're sent forth and we see them all unraveling now, you know, for those who have eyes to see that and ears to hear that, you know, on a counterbalance is going to be very, very well for the elect, man, you know. And even though we, some of us will be um, refined in the times of tribulation that our faith may be increased. Some of us may even be martyrs, you know. But even the dead shall rise first in Jehovah Shai Mashiach. Indeed. You know, not all will perish. You know, some will actually see the kingdom without, without, a, without, a, without a physical, you know, carnal death here on this side. Some will walk into the kingdom there. You know, so, but we have a lot to look forward to, especially concerning the elect, man. And I figured I'll do a, um, a lesson on this, man, to feed the sheep, to feed the lambs. Because I've been giving y'all little appetizers, little quick hits, you know, videos. I try to mix things up a bit. But this video is going to be about how we're going to be balling very soon, man, as Esau is coming to his end. You know, Jacob is coming into the beginning, and our beginning shall last forevermore. You know, this is our last captivity in the land of the north, in the Babylon, America, you know. And the Lord has, you know, things that we can't even fathom, you know, lined up for us, man. So, you know, this is going to be a positive message, you know, about what we have to look forward to in the Lord, man. Because he, he's going to reward us according to our works, you know. But uh, we're going to be balling, man. That's why I named this, man. We're going to be balling, you know. Call her Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. We're going to discuss that. You know, putting our flesh under su uh, subjugation, being vexed here in the uh, wicked vibration of this place, man, and trying to be different and being set aside and sealed until your Hawabashim, your Hawashai, man. It comes with great rewards, man. You know, 
The Lord's going to uplift his elect in these times to come. You know, but we're going to get right into it, man. So keep, we're going to keep, we're going to keep striving. We're going to keep pushing. You know, prophecies are coming to pass. It's like every day, man. These prophecies are moving, man. Like every day, yo. It's something I could do a video on. It's like there's so much going on in the world, man. You know, it's hard to keep up with, man. But the elect will be balling, man. The elect is going to be balling. Call her Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Let's get right into it. And hopefully, this is edifying for the elect, man. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this. <clears throat> Let's start from the beginning, man. Let's start with Genesis chapter 15, verse 13 through 14. You know. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with great substance. You know? And we see the cap we see the captivity, know that the captivity is coming to an end because of the plagues and judgments we see coming upon this place, man. You got birds flying in the buildings, killing themselves in the Carolinas, man, at the NASCAR Museum. You know, I think the NASCAR Hall of Fame. You know, I've seen some Akium post on that. You know, these lantern bugs are are eating up all the crops. We have this flesh eating bacteria. We have these hurricanes. Uh, I think Texas just got hit with a tornado, just devastated. And in California, man, PG and E now cut a round two of five million people without po power, man. While California is still in flames, man. If you can't see the judgments of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai upon this place, all the nations are aligning. You know, Russia and Africa is gaining uh, some allegiances. Turkey went up in Syria, man. No one's giving a damn about Babylon. No one's caring about Esau, man. He's about to be made small upon the earth and it's already underway, man. These prophecies are moving. So we know through measuring the times diligently that we're coming to the end of the captivity. In which many of the judgments upon two thirds have to come to pass, such as Jacob's trouble, which is right along the horizon, man. Esau's gonna come down with great wrath. He's gonna come down with great wrath on the house of Joshua. But pretending unto the elect, man, we're gonna be good. You know, we're gonna come out with what? We're gonna come out with great sustenance. And we're gonna talk about the sustenance we're about to come out of captivity with, man. You know? Let's go to Romans chapter 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. We're going to be glorified, man. We're going to be sealed. We're going to have that light. We're going to have that glow as well as we're going to have the substance of the nations, man, when it's all said and done. And partially, it's going to be given unto us on this side, okay? Before before the millennial kingdom, you know? This is what we, this is what we strive for, man. This is what we... You know, come under subjugation of our of our um, subjugating our flesh for man. Whether you know we all have thorns in our side, we're all battling our flesh, man. You know, but this is this is wise, not in vain, because of the, the the suffering that we're dealing with here in Babylon. You know, suffering uh, among subjugating ourselves, staying set aside. You know, all the various sufferings, man. Jake is catching hell, man. We catch hell here, man. I'm not happy here. I always go through bouts of depression, man. And it takes Yahweh Bosh me have a shy to um, keep my keep my head level, man. You know, and I know I'm not the only Aki that go through this, man. Because when you sit back and reflect, what is there to be happy about here, man? Our hope is not in vain, and our hope is in that which is to come, and that which is to be made manifest concerning the promises, man, and the words of Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and we're going to be talking about what we have to look forward to in hope, man. We're prisoners of hope for this truth, man. We don't have nothing else. You know, two thirds believe they have Babylon. They believe they have Esau, but they're going to learn very soon in Jacob's trouble that that's not, you know, what it is. And they're going to come back in great shame, man, in the kingdom, you know. But uh, the elect, we're going we're to be risen up on this side, man, you know. But let's continue. Second Ezra, chapter 2, verse 27 through 29. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, and we see it, that collapse, that economic collapse is coming, that shit hitting the fan is coming. And you know, I, I did enough videos about that. Y'all should know very well what's coming. I made it very clear. Some of the things are difficult to watch that I post to my channel, but it's very clear what's coming. We're warning you people, man. You know, but guess what? Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, Jacob's trouble, others shall weep and be sorrowful. 
okay? These two-thirds, these, these Edomites, these Gentiles are going to weep and be sorry for because pertaining to Jeremiah 25, all oh, the Lord is against all nations, man. In accordance with Zephaniah 3 and 8, man, he's bringing all nations to the valley of Jehoshaphat, man, to judge them all. That he may strike the head through kings, you understand, of all the nations of the earth, and then set up his elect to rule, what, forever, okay? But not to get off subject, let's continue. Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. So when Jacob's trouble arrives and everybody's catching hell and these strange apparitions and demons begin manifesting, and, um, you know, they start tormenting people, eating people alive, raping people, you know, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be like that, man. You know, and that's, in in and, and, and that's just the reality of it. That's a whole nother video and a whole nother topic, man. But this is going to be like that, man. When these animals are out here eating people alive, when these two third men are out here plundering <clears throat> these women, when these Edomites come down with their robots and their FEMA camps and their UN peacekeepers to wage war. An insurrection against, you know, uh, those who fear the Lord, man. What the Lord is going to set up a spiritual standard when when Hashetan and his children, which are these Edomites, because they do the will of Hashetan, so that is their father. That is their that is their, they are the physical manifestation, the physical people of Hashetan. Okay, when they come down with great wrath, the Lord is going to what lift up a spiritual standard, man. That spiritual standard is going to be the hundred forty four thousand elect. In the Archangel Michael As well as other angels That's going to protect us man Okay We're going to have that seal You understand But not only shall we be married But we shall have abundance In this time of turmoil That we're headed to So don't fear Akim When I talk about Jacob's trouble And even, and even you uh, One third woman You know who you are You know Just to just stay in the faith Continue to be chaste And continue to follow You know the ways of Yah Bashem Yah Bashah Be under your man Be obedient Subservient You know Everything that says that a woman is, is a holy woman is supposed to conduct yourself, be that man, because the Lord is going to protect you in the times to come and lead you to a man of the Lord and cover you, you know, with with, with his covering, man. But when everyone else is catching hell, we're going to be happy and be merry and have abundance, man. Abundance. You understand when everybody's eating, cannibalism is going on, man, because cannibalism is coming. See, these videos are all the doom and gloom. There's no need for me to really go in there. When people are catching all this pure hell, there's no need for us to fear, man. Because in good faith, man, the, and, and and to the mercies of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man, we should be we should be made whole, man. We should be married and have abundance in this time when everyone else is catching hell. The heathen shall envy thee. Yeah, these Edomites are going to be salty, dog. These Gentiles are going to be salty, man. Yeah, they're all going to be salty. But guess what? But they shall be able to do nothing against thee, save who? Save the Lord, man. Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. They ain't going to be able to do a damn thing, man. We're going to be good. We're going to be happy, Mary. We're going to be happy, Slim. We're going to have abundance. We're going to be eating when everyone else is starving. You don't got to worry about how Yahweh Shah is going to do it. We just know that he's capable of doing all things. And his word shall not return unto him void, man. So we're going to be good in Jacob's trouble, man. No need to worry. You understand? My hands shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell, man. Even our children and all those, are, and all those who are under our covering, man, are going to be covered by the Lord as well, man. They're not going to see... Uh, they're not going to see famine. They're not going to see death and destruction, man. Man, isn't, isn't our Lord a great man? Isn't Yahweh Shai Mashiach great man in His mercies? And this is what we strive for. This is why we're trying to stay, keep, keep, keep in the steady, uh, in the straight way, man. Keeping the straight path, man. You know, this is what we do it for, man. For these promises that are made unto the elect, man. Let's go to Proverbs chapter thirteen, verse twenty-two. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. And here's the main point. But the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. So all these preppers, all these all these Edomites buying up all the silver and gold. Because they know the damn Federal Reserve is crashing. The only ones who are oblivious to what the hell is going on is two-thirds of our own people, man. Because they're blinded, pretending to Isaiah chapter 6, man. Two-thirds of Jacob are the only ones who, who are not aware of the <laughs> of the economy. Uh, basically about the crash of the uh, so look all over the world the world's on fire right now man Barcelona France uh, they, they was killing protesters in Iraq I believe I want to say no it was Iraq I don't think it was Afghanistan but over there in that area Venezuela been going catching hell you know and they and they look look what's going on in California now five million people PG and E just said man without power and it's still fires raging out there man how long do you think it's gonna be before them people start going off, man? <laughs> and start kirking. 
You know, Esau's creating a situation to systemically cripple this place, and it's all to the will of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, because he creates evil and good. You know, he creates the pertaining to uh, Amos chapter three, I believe. Amos chapter three, verse six, I believe. You know, the Lord says, "Shall it be a trumpet?" And shall it be a trumpet in the city? And the Lord have not done it, man. So yeah, Esau's doing it on the left hand side, but Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai is ordaining it because it's all to the fruition of prophecy, man. That this place got to go down. Okay. And now it's hitting the states. And, you know, like I said, two thirds of our people are the only ones who don't see this hell coming. But guess what? All these preps, all these all these preparations, these preppers are making, all these bunkers, all this gold and silver they're storing up. Man, that's getting stored up for the elect, man. That's getting stored up for the righteous, man. We're going to get all into that. And the Lord's going to lead us to it. We're going to continue. And I'm going to get into that, man. But let's go into Isaiah chapter 45, verse 3. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness. Uh oh, and hidden riches of secret places. Uh oh, <laughs> that thou mayest know that I, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel, man. Call the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, so everything these 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 heathens are, are, especially these Edomites, they're stashing up all this food, you know, all this gold, all this silver, because they know the Federal Reserve about to crash. They know what's coming. They know they're about to catch hell. That's for us, man. The Lord's going to put them to death, man. The Lord's going to bring travesties, and, and there's no escaping it. And it says that in the scriptures, man. That suddenly destruction shall come, and and, and, it, and he shall not escape it, man. <laughs> you know? He's going to be like a chase, like a chase road, man. Like a female deer getting low, man, getting chased by a predator, man. And that predator is the spirits of vengeance and the spirits of judgment that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is about to unleash on this place. It's not even he's about to. He's already doing it. The end is already here, man. It's just unraveling slowly, man. You know? Nice and methodically how Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai does it. Like a chess game, man. He's the master chess player, man. But yeah. So the Lord's going to give us the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places, man. So we don't got to worry. We're going to be fine. You know, granted, you know, and I'm just speaking personally as a man, personally, man. You know, I have my small preps. You know, I have a little bit of rice, you know, some dry beans and things like that. That's just being wise. You don't want to be, you know, simple, you know, because we know that hell is coming. Did not Noah build his ark, man, out of obedience? Because, you know, ma you know, making your small preparations, you know, you can't have faith in what you have. You know, you got to have faith in the Lord. But making your small preparations is like expressing your faith in the Lord because you know he's bringing pure help. You know he's bringing these judgments, man. You know, to each his own because some brethren may not be able to do that. And guess what? Yahabashim, Yahabashai, his grace is still sufficient. He's still going to lead us to food. He's still going to uh, convert the riches in the a, in a wealth and the... Uh, and the uh, preps of these other nations, these Gentiles, unto us, man. So we don't got to worry. But in wisdom, you know, if you can afford to get a you know, couple cans of vegetables, some beans, some rice, why not? It's not going to do you any bad just to be prepared, you know. But the Lord got this. At the end of the day, the Lord does have this. And he's going to take care of his elect, man. You know, we're going to get into this. We're going to continue. Let's go ahead and jump to the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 6. But you shall be named the priest of the Lord. They shall call you the servants of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. And in the glory, you shall boast, man. Yeah, man, we're going to have the riches of the Gentiles, man. The Lord's putting spirit on all these heathens, especially these Edomites, to buy, spend all their money, and spin up all their credit. You know, they're running these credit cards for this stuff, man. Because they already know it's over, man. The credit card delinquency is rising, man, because these, because these heathens, these Gentiles are spending it all over in preparations. You know, quietly so, but we know what they're up to. You know, these bunkers, these, you know, these RVs. They're buying up these RVs. And, uh, you know, I, I, in all in the spirit, I see it, man. I see a lot of them with their little boats and stuff. Man. They know, you know, they're trying to plan, but they're not going to escape the judgments, man. But Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, everything they're, stick, everything they're saving up and everything they're trying to preserve, Thinking that they're gonna, you know, rise out the ashes as, as the as the flaming phoenix to rise out the ashes and, and reconsolidate society and begin all over from bare bones. Uh uh, it's over, man. For the end shall be with Esau in the beginning with Jacob. And uh <laughs> what we're gonna have is we're taking it from these heathens, man. And especially these Edomites. It's all for us. This throwing all this shit up for us, man. And honestly, now I'm gonna get it out later, but a lot of the gold that's in these like World Bank reserves and Fort Knox and 
and uh in the Vatican and stuff. That that's our gold, man. Anyway, they they just been holding it for us, man. When King Solomon was reigning, and in the Dark Ages, when our when, when the nation of Israel was on top, subjugating all the nations, man, they were all tributaries to us, man. We had all that. But during the Roman besiegement, through the times and course of history, we was besieged, and all all of our stuff were taken and dispersed back into the nations again, primarily in the in the possession of Esau Edom, through through the Roman Empire. Yeah, they got all our gold and riches, and guess what? They're gonna cough it up, and that's the scripture I should have got out, man. That they swallow down these riches and they shall spew them. Yeah, the Lord's gonna make them vomit these riches, man. It's gonna come right back to the rightful owners. Thank you much. Yep, Yasharala. Yep, indeed. Let's go to uh, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 25 to 26. But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, and thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob, man. Yeah, dog. These, these, man, these people are going to be cannibalizing on each other and when, 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 <laughs> when there's nobody around because you know that man's going to be made few through the war that's about to pop off any day now, uh, through, through famine, through plagues. Because what the Lord's going to do is when, when these stores shut down and when the economy collapses and this inflation sets in and when the, the store shelves are empty, people are going to start, you know how these Edomites are, man. They start eating roadkill. They're going to start eating uh, abominable foods that are unclean, man. And they're going to be catching pestilence and plagues off these animals that they're, that they're going to be eating. Real talk, Akim. That's what's happening. That's what's going to happen. You know, when the store shelves run dry, then, then and Esau, being a crafty hunter, just gonna go out and try to eat these wild animals, man. Whether it's some squirrel or some rabbit, you know they eat any damn thing, man. They, and the Lord's gonna strike them with these animals. <laughs> you know, they don't follow the dietary laws, man. The laws weren't even never given to them, man. It doesn't matter, man. You know, but they're gonna be destroyed through the famine, through the pestilence, and through the war, man. Through the war that's about to come. You know, there's there's uh, sleeper cells already here in America. They're gonna be launched. And I told I did I did a video on this man. It's, they're gonna do it's, it's a red flag event coming, man. These sleeper cells and end cells that are here in America, they're gonna come out, start dogging everybody, shooting everybody down. The, the bombs and missiles are gonna fly, and this place is gonna be brought to desolation, man. You know, and and meanwhile, it's gonna be in the Valley of Drew. He's a fat. All the nations are gonna be over there duking it out, and men are gonna be made very few. When there's when there's ten to a city and two to a field. These people are going to be starving. These two thirds, these, these Edomites, these Gentiles, man, they're all going to be starving, man. And when there's no one else to eat, they're going to start eating their own damn arm. They're going to start, they're going to literally, <laughs> you know, that area between, <laughs> you know, where your elbow is on the inside, like by your bicep and your forearm. And people are just going to be, ah, snatching at that shit, biting their veins just to suck the blood out their veins, dude. I'm not making it up. I just read it to you. They shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. Yeah. They be snatching at their arms, man. <laughs> Taking a chunk out their elbow, man. <laughs> that piece, that piece of flesh. You know where you get your IVs, where you get your shots and shit. Well, I don't get no vaccines and no shots, but you know if you get an IV ran, you know they put it right in, right on the uh, inner side of your elbow, between your bicep and your forearm. Yeah, you are gonna see people with that, with all that chewed up, man. All turning black, infected. Man, they're gonna be drinking the blood off their arms, man. They're gonna cannibalize on themselves. And while they're going through that, we're gonna be good. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be straight. We just went over that, man. When Jacob's trouble, when all hell breaks loose, man, we're gonna be good, man. The Lord's gonna what? We're not only not only we're gonna be good, we're gonna be happy. And then we're gonna have abundance. We're gonna have all the abundance of what everybody's preparing for. All the preparations they're making. It's coming to Jacob, man. You know, and what I was saying earlier, you know, I hate to sound like I'm going off, but I just find it to be wise to have something. To have a little something, you know, because that shows that you have faith that the Lord is bringing these judgments. That that you have faith that whatever you have can't be lost, or whatever you have, you know, is going to be enough to get through. But for you know, it's just a good idea to have, you know, a couple days of, you know, why not have some rice, man? What's 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 a fifty pound bag of rice? Fifteen bucks, twenty bucks. It's not going to be that for long because the Midwest been getting pummeled. So the Lord's already been striking the bare basket of America. So it's not going to hurt you when you go to the store to get a bag of rice, man. So you can feed your kids meanwhile while things unfold. It's just wisdom. It's just a wise thing to do. But the Lord, at the end of the day, <clears throat> his perfect time and in his perfect will, he's going to begin to convert all the abundance 
and the preparations of everyone else and lead you to these bunkers and lead you to man he, man the lord man he can feed you with birds man he can feed can man there's so much examples in the scriptures man when daniel was in the lion's den you know he was bought food you know through tele through teleportation of a uh, oh man i don't want to go off i forgot the name i forgot the prophet i, I want to say uh, i'm not even gonna go off i wish i could just get it right now but i got my phone on airplane mode was it Ezra's or Ezra? Okay, but you know, he was teleported by an angel to bring uh, Daniel some food, man. You know? Well, he was in that lion's den, man. You know, so the Lord can do miraculous things, man. And guess what? His angels are going to be activated to defend the men of the Lord, man. So we're going to have angelic, uh, we're going to have angelic uh, intervention, you know? But not the whole nation of Israel led out of Egypt with a uh, pillar of smoke. And, uh, and, and the pillar of fire by night, the pillar of smoke by day, which were really chariots, you know. So the Lord can do it again. You know, you might see a pillar, uh, same thing. Just, it just might lead you to some food, might lead you to a storage house, man. Might, the Lord has his ways, man. He's going to, you're going you're gonna to know. The Lord's going to bring it to your attention. He's going to lead you to safety. He's going to lead you to Goshen's, right? Goshen's are um, safe grounds and safe havens, right? Yeah, it's going to be beautiful, man. Let's go to Job chapter 27, verse 13 through 17. This is the portion of a wicked man with Yahweh and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. So who's the wicked? Who's the oppressor? Esau, Edom, man. Look at America. Man, that could be a whole nother video. I can go on and on about everything. We all know, man. It's depressing here. It's wicked. It's evil. The vibration is off here in Babylon, America, man. Then who's the leader? Who's the pharaoh of this modern day Egypt? It's Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man. It's just the truth, man. They're all about everything that's that's everything that's anti hamashiach man, is what they're about, man. They're, they're, they're Satan's children, man. They're the spiritual demons, they're Satan's children, you know? And they are our oppressors, man. Yeah, they are the wicked, man. We're going to talk about the portion of them. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. His offspring should not be satisfied with bread. Yeah, because famine's going to consume them. And all the little Edomite children you see, these newborns, even though they're not having many children because they're, they're being made small amongst the heathen, but if they do have children, it's just to go into, it's either to be die of famine, <coughs> die in this war, or to eventually end up in captivity anyway, man. <coughs> and, and then at the end of this slavery, to be put to death, man, and wiped out completely and utterly, according to the book of Obadiah, man. You know? Verse 15. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widow shall not weep. Yes, yeah, so all these Edomite women, man, they're not even going to care when they make it. Because deep down inside, they know, man. They know the deal. These Edomites know the deal. That's why they're going to come down with great wrath on Jacob, man. That's why they're going to bring Jacob's trouble, man. Because they know the deal. It's over for them, man. When, but when these, when these Edomite men start getting put to death out here, man, in all the various ways that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai has for their future torments, the torments they even they they're already being tormented. It's just going to increase, man. You're going to cut up the volume on their ass, man. The Lord's going to tear them up, man. He's already doing it. Guess what? His widow shall not weep. When they go off to the valley where he's fat during the next draft that's very soon to come, you know, and he don't never come back, man, his wives ain't going to be weeping, man. They, these women are already naturally hypergamous. They're gonna be trying to cleave to Jake. They're gonna be trying to be Jake's concubine. They're gonna be trying to be the, the <laughs> they're gonna be trying to be the concubine of the elect man, just to survive, man. And they are gonna be concubines and handmaids at the end of the day, you know. But let's continue. Pertaining to uh, Isaiah chapter fourteen, man, that's what the deal is, whether you like it or not. Let's go to verse sixteen. Though he heap up silver as the dust and prepare raiment as the clay. He may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall divide the silver. You hear that, Akiah? We gonna divide what they got. All these storehouses, man, man. All these nations have have a gold reserves, dog. All these na I was looking into it. All these nations have a gold reserve. I don't know if you've seen in the beginning of this video. It said like United States, and then it showed that it was like over eight. I think eight eight thousand metric tons of gold in the reserve, man. The United Babylon, United States of America, man, Babylon, America, is has the largest gold reserve out of all the nations in the earth, man. And ain't that some shit? You know they pushing these, these phony FRN notes, but got all the gold over here, man. All these nations are hip, and they're starting to hate the whore. 
All the nations are hating America right now. Rightfully so, man. They in the right spirit. Call her Lord, you have a shot, you have a shot, man. Though they heap up silver as dust and prepare raiment as the clay, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall just divide the silver. So, <laughs> so when Esau's catching hell, and the Lord brings them uh, those, those arrows, those ICBM from across the earth, because all these nations are going to jump on or jump on America, man. When, when everyone's catching hell, the judgments are here, man. The Lord's going to lead us to to the reserves, man. We're going to get all their riches, man. We gonna, well, did, didn't I just open it up with Genesis chapter 15 and we're going to come out with great substance? Because we're coming out with the substance of Babylon America. It's ours. It's already ours. <laughs> this is the inheritance of the elect, man. <laughs> we're going to be balling, Slim. Let's go to Joel chapter 3, verse 5 through 8. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold. Okay, and this is what I was talking about earlier. You get all, most of the gold, really all of the gold, man, not nah, all of this gold, all of the diamonds, all of the rubies, all of the silver, all of everything was created. And this world was created for, for, for Israel's sake, man. It's written in the book of uh, Ezra, man. This whole earth is for our sake, man. That's ours. All the gold in this world, all of it is ours, man. But quite literally, actually, you know, at one point it was ours. You know, our forefathers. In the kingdom, such as Solomon, man, they they literally ate off of silverware because there's properties, healing properties to sil to uh, to silver and gold, man. You know, like collodial silver, man, that kills HIV, man. You know, it, it's it's a natural immune booster. Yeah, did you know that? Yeah, look into it, man. You know, we used to eat off of this stuff, eat off of golden plates and silver, literal silver silverware, <laughs> not that cheap metal BS we got now. You know that we eat off of. You know, but they are when, when Jerusalem was divided, when, when Israel, when the nation of Israel was divided, we had the northern 10 tribes that went to captivity first over the waters into the land of Azareth, which is America. Those are your Native American Indians and your Mayans and your Aztecs in North and South America, right? Then later on, the southern tribe was besieged by Rome in 70 AD, right? And the Edomites had us, had us, had us go into a diaspora and uh, migrate into Africa. In hundreds of years later, we wind up getting sold out, pretending the Psalms 83 being fulfilled, getting sold out by all these nations. They all made a tumult. We was out of our land and we all got put into slavery, man. And all these other nations played a role in it. This is why I pretend to Jeremiah 25 that the Lord indignation is against all the nations. You understand? Because they all played a tumult against us. Granted, it was a punishment and a judgment for our forefathers going off. But regardless, man, when we were besieged, in 69 to 70 AD by the Romans under Titus, I believe, um, we lost, they, they besieged our temples, took all our gold, took all our silver, took all our, took our scriptures. This is how Esau got our damn scriptures, man. Yeah, this is how he got our book, man. I've been trying to explain this to two thirds. It's the white man's book. No, it ain't. It's our book. They stole it. It ain't. They're imposters. And they set up a, a tabernacle of, of, uh, of Amalekites Another tabernacle of Esau under the loins of Eliphaz, who was the son of Esau, to uh to try to take our inheritance, which Lamentations chapter chapter five speaks on. Our inheritance was given to strangers, man. But you know what? Not everybody has eyes to see and ears to hear. We need to be very thankful that Jehovah Shimmy have a shot pulled the scales off of our eyes that we can read this and it makes just perfect sense to us, man. We gotta pray to the Lord every day that we that we can see the truth. This is what we got to look forward to, man. But let's go to Joel chapter 3, verse 5 through 8. I just wanted to break down, you know, the take on that. That they had literally taken the silver and gold, man, from us. All these nations. But primarily the nation of Esau, Edom. Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians. Yeah, we were sold to Edomites. Okay? So-called white men. That they self-proclaim so-called white men They're Edomites That ye might remove them far from their border Didn't I just explain the history behind that How we was taken out of our land Okay Behold I will raise them out of the places Whether ye have sold them Oh wait a minute The Lord's going to rise us from, from the land of the north first Because it's also written that, that the Lord shall establish The tents of Judah first And, the, and according to Zephaniah so I'm jumping around we play, We're playing scripture precept hopscotch here According to the book of Zephaniah the curse, okay, that, that Zephaniah saw that flying roll, right? 
in that curse. That's the curse that's going to enter the house of the thief, right? So the Lord, there's going to be an alien invasion here, right? And the Lord's going to gather his children. Well, so-called alien invasion. We know what it's going to be, though. That's the curse. These, these, these chariots are going to come destroy Babylon, man. And gather and gather the one third remnant and the elect, and, and we're going to be put in our own land, right? And the house of Judah is going to be saved first. The tents of Judah shall be established first, right? So the Lord is going to raise us up out of the place we have He has sold us, and will return the recompense upon their head. So guess what? The recompense vengeance is the Lord, but the recompense is going to be double the portion that they have done unto us. Okay, double the portion. I did videos about this, man. Not to get too off topic. So Esau ain't got another pure hell coming. He's on a slippery, slippery slope to the pit of destruction, into the pit of captivity, of slavery, <laughs> and then ultimate annihilation. And we're on a climb. <laughs> we're just waiting. We want all hell to break loose. Don't be, don't be worried because of some of the things I post about, you know, and what I can post about all the hell that's coming. That's really for two thirds to get their warning, so we get the blood off our, off our hands, so that they can repent and come, and then. So, so a portion of them who was written from the beginning can receive sal well they're going to receive salvation at the end because all those Israel shall be saved but that they can be sealed we're fishing for the elect man so that those can be who may watch can be sealed man who are written in from the beginning right we put the go out to the lost sheep that's why that's why we do this but it's not to scare the elect we already know this hell is coming right but that that recompense is going to be turned over onto their own head. Yeah, the offspring of the Grecians and the Romans, the Edomites, the so-called white men. Okay, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. So you North American Negroes, we're going to have a good time putting these damn Edomites in slavery, man. They shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken it. Oh, for the raw Hebrew has spoken it. No, for the Lord has spoken it, man. If you got a problem with it, you got a problem with the Lord. And then, and then how you feel don't even matter Because the Lord has spoken it. His word shall not return void So a lot of people got a problem Because they're brainwashed A lot of people got a problem with this Because they're Edomized and Babylonianized man. And the main ones who have a problem with this Is two thirds They hate themselves man They're perfect slaves And they're going to figure it out through death by pain man. They're going to figure it out in Jacob's trouble man. But the elect man Those who the Lord have had gracefully and mercifully Opened our eyes and, and, and gave us the truth of this promise and the, and the covenant, man, and, and 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 gave us understanding of this gospel, man. Man, we got all good coming, dog. Let's go to Job chapter twenty-two, verse fifteen through twenty-one. Hast thou marked the old way which wicked men have trodden, which were cut down out of time, whose foundation was overflown with the flood, which said unto God, Depart from us. And what can the Almighty do for them? And that's what these that's what these Edomites are proud, man. That's how they feel. A lot of these atheists, a lot of these Edomites, you know, they, they you know they're proud because they they have the reward on this side. And that reference that the end shall be with Esau in the beginning, it was Jacob pertaining to Second Ezra chapter six, I believe, six and nine. You understand? So they got the rewards already. They got the world. The, the world was given to the hands of the wicked. They got the world, man. But guess what? Is being stripped from them. It's going to be handed to Jacob, along with all the prosperity and the um, and the riches of this world, man. It's coming to Jacob, okay? Verse 18. Yet he filled their houses with good things, but the counsel of the wicked is far from me. The righteous see it and are glad, and the innocent laugh them to scorn. So we're going to be laughing at these, <laughs> we're going to be laughing at these Edomites and these two thirds while they catching hell, man. While we're going to be in abundance And they're going to be jealous They're going to be envious But they won't be able to do shit about it Okay Let's go to verse 20 Whereas our substance is not cut down But the remnant of them The fire consumes Alright so our substance is not It's not going to be cut man It's going to be increased In abundance Right But the remnant of them The wicked and the two thirds And everyone else The fire going to consume their ass man <laughs> The fire of them ICBMs, man. The fire of destruction, man. They're going to be consumed by it, man. They're going to be consumed by these arrows that all these nations are going to shoot and spare not. And not one shall fail upon this land. They're going to be consumed by that, man. Along with all of their substance <laughs> that we don't have. <laughs> it's going to be destroyed. Right? And the Lord's already done it. Look at the Midwest. It's being pummeled. The Lord's destroying that, man. All the silos of grain got spoiled. 
You know about the floodings in the Midwest? Yeah, man. The Lord's destroying it. It's getting bought the knot, man. Only the elect are going to make it through comfortably, man. And we're still going to have our faith tried, but we're going to be given the power as well on a spiritual level. Verse 21. Acquaint now thyself with them and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Okay, so let's acquaint ourselves and draw closer to Yahweh by Hashem Shah, man. That we may be at peace at the time of calamity, man. Right? That good shall come unto us in this time of destruction because it's said and done, man. This place is done. It was spoken to be finished since the beginning, man. <laughs> That's why I don't understand these, these retarded ass Christians, man. You know, these pagan, these pagan Christians, man. They don't want to read the Old Testament. Talking about the Old Testament done away with, but we still the we still living in the times of the Old Testament. We're living in the times of the Old Testament prophesied about, man. They're too stupid to see it. So a lot of them are gonna be eating their own flesh and drinking their own blood and eating their babies and getting raped and destroyed and then FEMA camps get man. They're gonna they're gonna be catching hell, dude. But let's continue. Job chapter five, verse nineteen through twenty-four. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven. There shall no evil touch thee In famine he shall redeem thee from death And in war from the power of the sword So these demons told So when there's no food the Lord's going to give us food Man we're going to be good Like I opened up earlier and We're going we're gonna to have great abundance Retaining the two second Ezra's man You know and in war from the power of the sword So we're going to be like, like that Like that comic that comic character Luke Cage And that's where all these comics come from A lot of them All these special abilities like Dragon Ball Z And you know, all these, it comes from the powers from the people who know the scriptures, and they know the scriptures that the, these these type of powers and abilities are gonna are gonna come upon man, and pertaining to the 144,000 elect, the men of Israel, right? We're gonna have that power, but it says in famine he shall redeem me from death, and in war from the power of the sword. You know, look at Luke Cage, man. We bulletproof. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or that scene from the Matrix when they were shooting and. There was like a visible force field that caused all the bullets just to stop midair and fall to the ground. Or you could stop them all in midair and then just transfer that velocity because we shall be in league with the stones. We're going to get into that. Meaning that we're going to have complete control and, or, and, 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 uh, and um, what's what I'm looking for? Complete control and manipulation of all the elements, right? Force fields, magnitude fields. I mean, electric, electric magnetic fields. I'm sorry. You know? Things of that nature, you know, all things. You know, we're gonna be a league with the stones. We're gonna be able to stop barrage of bullets, pause them, maybe manipulate time and just, I don't know, take the velocity of those rounds and just turn them around and just shoot them back everywhere they came, man. Just crazy stuff, man. We're gonna see, we're gonna see some crazy stuff, Akin. We're gonna be able to do some crazy stuff. Oh man, lost my place. Let's go back down. Boom, boom. Where we at? Okay, Job chapter five, verse uh, twenty. Yeah, so like that comic book character, Luke Cage. You know, he he was like bulletproof. He was getting shot, but the bullets didn't penetrate him. That's all you saw know is the sword. So just being, <laughs> so having authority over the power of the sword, man. Esau already lost off of that alone because that's what he loves to do. He loves shooting down Jake. He loves drawing the sword against Jake, but it's not going to work against the elect, man. You know, so the Lord's going to deliver us in that way. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. We're anticipating instruction, uh, destruction right now, so we're not gonna be afraid when these missiles are, these missiles are falling, and it's all hell breaking loose and strange apparitions and demons and all types of shit out here tearing people up and wild beasts eating people alive and people running down the street, vomiting and urinating and defecating themselves, terrified and man, we're not gonna be afraid of that. <laughs> the Lord's gonna deliver us from that spirit of fear because we was not given to the spirit of fear, right? Was never given to that. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. So we're gonna laugh at you, wicked jinx. We're gonna laugh at you two thirds. We're gonna laugh at you, Edomites. We're gonna laugh at you, Gentiles. I'm already Tom Petty. I already laugh at y'all now. Okay? And people say I'm crazy. Like my family, my friend, I don't got many friends. But like my family, my maid, my spouse, she she legitimately thinks I'm crazy. She and two thirds think we're crazy. But they're stupid. I think they're stupid. Right? But guess what? I laugh at them already when they catch hell. I already laugh at these Gentiles when they catch hell, man. I laugh at the opioid epidemic. Yeah, I laugh at two-thirds catching hell, man. I laugh at it, man. Because they chose not to fear the Lord. And the Lord laughs at them too, man. When they call upon the Lord in their fear, 
And when destruction come near them, man, the Lord is in, in mocking them, man. The Lord is mocking them. He's laughing at them too, man. Because the Lord loves judgment, man. He loves bringing warfare amongst all his enemies, man. You know, he leaves space and time for grace and repentance. But if you don't want to take that grace and repentance, but as is written, those who uh, reject Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man, those who hate the Lord, love death, man. So that's what they're going to get. It's going to be funny how the Lord's going to have a lot of people die. A lot of people are gonna, a lot of people are gonna die, man. I do enough videos on that, but we're gonna focus on this topic, Salakia. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. So we're not gonna be afraid of these animals, man, when they're breaking out of zoos, <laughs> when they tearing people's asses up, man. And you already see the spirit getting put on these spirits of vengeance, getting put on these animals, man. It's just gonna intensify to a point where you're not gonna have to look online. You're gonna see it every day in front of you, man. It's gonna be crazy. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. I talked about that earlier, man. We're going to be one with the earth again, man. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. So we're not going to worry about these animals, man. These animals might be, you know, jumping on jumping on our adversaries. You know, wicked two-thirds might run up on you talking that trash. You know, um, you know, a lot of people are going to have that RFID chips in their spirit and their soul not going to be right up in them no more. So they're all going to be goners. So they're going to they're gonna want to kill you and come up against you in that time. And the animals just might come out of nowhere. Birds might come out and pluck their eyeballs out. <laughs> like that wicked thief who basically made a mockery. Was mocking around on a, on a, on a cross, man, next to Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yeah, bird came out. Yeah, yeah, because Yahweh Shai Mashiach was in league with the stones. He was in league with the beasts of the field, man. You know? And we're going to have that. Because then Yahweh Shai Mashiach said that all things he had done we shall do and greater. Yeah, so we're going to have that power too, man. You know, he's going to grant not that we earned it, not that we deserve it, but through his grace and mercies and his goodness, man. He's, that's, that's the reward. You understand? For the elect, you know? And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, man. So all those who are around us. And that's what that's what's going to bring Isaiah 4 and 1. That's what's going to make these Gentiles kiss our ass and give us all their riches, man. Because they're going to want to be up under our tabernacle. They're going to want to be part of our covering. Well, they're going to want us to be their covering over them. They're going to be wanting us to, <laughs> wherever you go, man, they're like, please, just, just spend the night, please, because they know if you're there, strange apparitions they ain't going to fuck with them. They know if you're there, they're going to be good. They know if you're there, they're going to have healing out of their sicknesses and pestilences. They know if you're there and you're around. That's why That's why I said the scripture said man should be made as fine gold, man, as the golden wedge of over, man. Not only because man will be rare, but because being in our presence shall be a blessing, man. Yes, we're going to be a blessing. Very soon, when everyone's catching hell, we're going to be a blessing unto every, to anyone that we deal with. And we're not going to be dealing with everybody, man. You got an RFID chip in your hand, which def definitely nine out of ten people are going to have that all breaks. So you're already eliminated from the covering of the Most High and the covering of the Most High through His men. You're not going to get that, man. You know? And even those who don't have the chip, man, you know, they're going to be pressed to be up under you, man. Yeah. The tabernacle should be in peace. And thou shalt visit thy habitation and shalt not sin. Why well, shall we not sin? Because the elect are what? The first fruits unto Yahabash and Yahushab. And the first fruits are what? The first to receive the new covenant, right? So the Lord's gonna uh gonna put his law, statutes, and commandments on the hearts and the minds of the elect first. And we're already on a prelude of that because that's what we meditate and focus on right now. It just hasn't been manifested a hundred percent yet. But when the elect are raised up in this time, what? In the last video I made, what? In a, a season of the sealed election, it's going to happen in Jacob's trouble. We see Jacob's troubles on the horizon. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know this devil Esau is about to come down with great wrath, right? And that's when the Lord's going to put his put his covenant in us, man. Yeah, we're going to be made perfect <laughs> before everyone else, before the one third get it, right? And before the regeneration where these two-thirds are bought back and regenerated and called lowly in the kingdom of heaven because they neglected to teach your law, statutes, and commandments, nor follow them. Because it's written, he that teaches these law, statutes, and commandments and teach others to do so and follows them shall be called what? Great in the kingdom of heaven. So there's going to be a hierarchy in heaven, even amongst the tribes of Israel. Call halal, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, man. I hope y'all can receive that, man. You know, my voice is a little gone right now. It's been a very long week. I worked 70 hours this week, so I'm really tired. But, you know, I'm trying to bring this up. Because this is the good news, man. This is the gospel right here. This is the good news, right? And we shall not no longer sin. Right? Pertaining to verse 24 of Job chapter 5, right? We shall no longer sin, right? We're going to have a covenant. We're going to have a spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, one with us, right? 
So let's go to Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. Because when all hell is going on, this is what it's going to be for us. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. And we preach that in the Proverbs, man. We know that the fear of the Lord is to hate evil in the, in, the, in the forward way, man. So we hate Babylon. We hate Esau, man. We hate this wickedness. We hate homosexuality, man. We hate pork. We hate abominable foods. Yeah, we hate them. We hate the wicked. Supposed to. Don't we? Don't, did, did King David hate them that hated the Lord? How do we love the Lord? Through obeying his law, statutes, and commandments. So if you're disobeying the law, statutes, and commandments, then you hate the Lord. You're his enemy. Yeah. Precept upon precept, line upon line. You know, I'm just kind of, I don't mean to butcher these precepts, but I'm kind of just, you know, the elect know what time it is. There's no need for me to explain. If it's all mumbo jumbo to you, then this ain't for you. You ain't of the election. Keep it moving. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 21. That I may cause those that love me to inherit substance. And I will fill their treasures, man. The Lord's going to inherit us substance, man. And fill our treasures, man. We're going to be rich. We're going to have abundance in the time of our hell break and lose, man. We need to hasten this destruction. Hasten. Pray against Babylon. Put curses on Babylon, man. Hasten this shit so we can get our reward, man. I'm, I'm tired here, man. Who's happy here? I can say this right now. Ain't none of the elects happy here. None of the 144,000 are happy here, man. We're not happy here. We're grieved at our own flesh, man. We're grieved that we're not even, that we're unperfect here, man. We want our perfect bodies. We want them lost touches and commandments put within us, man. We want to sin no more. We want to live in a righteous kingdom. We want to rule. See, two-thirds don't want to rule, man. They're, they're, they're Edomized. They're Babylonianized. They're Babylonianized, man. They're gone. They're gone. There's no help in them. They just got to die, man. They just got to die by death by pain For they love the law of Jehovah Shem Yahweh Shai, man That's their lot And this video is about our lot, man That we're going to inherit great substance, man And they're going to And Jehovah Shem Yahweh Shai is going to fill our treasures, man Let's go to Isaiah chapter 65 Verse 12 to 14 Therefore will I number you to the sword And you shall all bow down to the slaughter Two thirds There's Gentiles, Edomites Because when I call he did not answer Really two thirds This is about two thirds Because when you came across this video Simple niggas When you came across the prophets of the Lord On the highways and byways Simple niggas You was talking trash You was scoffing You didn't care for the laws and statutes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai You didn't care to come back to them So guess what You numbered to the sword You already marked for death man A lot of you women are marked for death man A lot of you evil jakes are marked for death man And it is what it is When I speak you did not hear But did evil before mine eyes And did choose that wherein I delighted not Therefore thus saith the Lord God Behold my servants shall eat Yeah the same ones you scoffing and talking shit And saying they crazy We gonna eat But ye shall be hungry You gonna starve You gonna be eating your arm Yeah you gonna be eating your arm Slim Yeah you gonna be doing a lot more than that You gonna be eating your kids man You gonna be starving Behold my servants shall drink But ye shall be thirsty Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed, man. So, brothers, we're gonna be rejoicing, man. We're on that divided line, man. We're, we're on we're on the other side of that line, man. We're gonna we're gonna receive the blessings very soon. So while everyone else is catching hell, we're gonna be catching blessings, man. We're gonna be praising the name of the Lord, man, in that time. Behold, my servant shall sing. Or what I just say, behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but you shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit, man. This is going to be a new soundtrack <laughs> on this earth. Right now, the vibration of Babylon and the soundtracks of Babylon is that of the likes of Cardi B, of uh, Megan Thee Stallion, of uh, all methods of carnality, whoredom, prostitution, and just filthiness. But the new soundtrack is going to be cries, scream, agony, echoed cries in empty streets. You'll be hearing muffled cries from closed doors after a FEMA troop and his troop and his platoon walks in there to spoil and ravish and kill and rape and destroy. We're going to be hearing cries and screams of vexation, right? That's what's just what it's going to be. And it's going to be beautiful to mine ears, right? Because the judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is righteous, man. Amos chapter 9, verse 8 through 15. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, which is Babylon, America, and I will destroy it.
from the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So two thirds are gonna get destroyed, man. But the Lord is not gonna, gonna destroy all of us, man. The elect 144,000, man, we're the first fruits. We're gonna be spared from this. We're gonna be good. The quicker all hell breaks loose, the quicker we can receive our blessings, man. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the seed. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people. What? Some of them? No. All the sinners of my people. Oh, except for the real pretty woman. No, no. All the sinners of my people. Oh, you talking about the niggas who got money too? These Jay Z's, these Beyonce's, these Chad Johnsons? No. All the sinners, man. It's going to boil down to. Okay, let's, let's, let's dissect this. What is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. Okay? Okay? So all those who are transgressing the law, not some of them, not most of them, all of them, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, and these are the same ones that be in the Christian church on Sundays. I'm covered. I'm saved. I'm saved by Jebus. No, the evil shall not overtake us nor prevent us. That's their attitude. They feel like the evil is not going to overtake them or prevent us or prevent them, even though they're in sin, even though they scoff, even though they want to change their ways. Yeah. They're going to die, man, by the sword, by the UN peacekeepers. You see my videos. You see, I told you, I'll show y'all what's up, man, and it hurts. It hurts these two-thirds feelings, man. It hurts them, man. They hate seeing the truth, man, but guess what? It's going to come to pass. It is what it is. Verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen. Let's refer back just a quick reference to the season of sealed election. We discussed and went through Bible scripture explaining that this will happen in Jacob's trouble. Okay, in that day, that's when two thirds will begin to start to get put to death, right? In that day, will the Yahweh Shai raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen? It's being rebuilt now, but we're going to be raised up. We're going to receive that seal. It's going to be done. It's going to be done. Dada, baby. It's going to be time to reap the benefits on this side and continue to put in work for Yahweh Yahweh Shai for the one third sake. Yeah, because these lambs belong to Yahabashim or Yahabashim. Right now, we're doing this broken down. We're doing this, you know, in our carnal flesh, you know, being led by the Spirit. But I'm just saying, we're not raised up yet, man. We haven't see, received these laws, statutes, and commandments on our inward parts. But we're, we're putting in the work right now in our lowest state, man. So the Lord's going to raise us up. We're no longer going to be falling in that time. We're going to be sealed. Okay, he's going to close up the breaches thereof. Let's start back at 11. In that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, which is 144,000 elect, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. What was going on in the days of old? I can give you some clues. Uh, King David slayed over 18,000 Edomites. <laughs> he had war, you know what I'm saying? He spiritual power is coming back in a major way, man. As in his days of old, even more so. That they, uh oh, why? Why is the Lord going to rebuild the tabernacle of David during Jacob's trouble? Why is he going to, why is he going to seal his elect and raise us up? Huh? Why is he going to do this? That they may possess the remnant of Edom and all, and some of the heathen, or oh, the ones that are just nice. No, no. And all, and of all the heathen. All the heathen, man. All of you are getting possessed, man. And I mean possessed as in you're going to be property of Israelites, man. You're going to be pro you're going into slavery, man. You're going into servitude. That's just what it is. You're going to be serv in, in servitude. The Edomite women are going to be concubines. The nicer looking ones, you dusty, disgusting. All of you are disgusting. But you, you, you dirty, low level ones, you're going in the field, man. You're going, you're going to be laying bricks and mortar, and mortar. Not even bricks because I'm going to get into it because what y'all going to do for wood, y'all going to have iron, man. For brass, you're going to have gold, man. Y'all going to build up, y'all going to rebuild these cities after they're torn down, man. After you hire Shia Mashiach, come back and strike the heads of kings in the valley of Jehoshaphat, man. And lay everything even. We're going to possess all the nations under our control, man. Which are called by my name. Save the Lord that do does this, man. The Lord is doing this. Yeah, man. You should be happy, brethren. We got next, man. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. I can't wait. I'm sick of this shit here, man. I'm sick of it. It's getting wickeder and wickeder. I'm tired of these. I'm tired, man. I'm, I'm sick and tired of these 
two thirds. I'm sick and tired of these loud, clamorous women that are out of order, don't know how to serve their men, don't know how to shut the hell up, be real woman. And there's some real woman out there, you know. But this is what this is what the elect think about the elect men think about. It's like how how Bashim you have a shot told Jeremiah not to take a wife in the land of Babylon because they were all defiled, man. They ain't wasn't gonna do nothing but put them through hell. You know what I'm saying? And keep them from doing the work, man. You know, distracting you and just not being in order, man. We're tired of this. Babylon has nothing to offer us, man. This is all the hope we got, dog. But it's the Lord that does this, man. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the tread of grapes of him that soweth the seed. And the mountain shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. And that's us ruling over our oppressors, man. You know, because right now we're coming to the end of the curses, but right now Jake is, is, is man, the blue collar field, man, is filled with Jake. If Jake, if all Israelites didn't go to work for one week, for five days, if every Israelite, okay, so called black, Hispanic, or Native American did not go to work for one week, America would immediately fall apart. Really, after the first day, probably it would fall apart. The markets would immediately crash, companies would immediately. You know, go under. I'm trying to tell you, man, for real, because the blue collar and the, and the, and the, and the servitude aspect and, and the infrastructure and the building of America is literally by Jacob, man. That's why this nation don't want to let us go. That's why none of the nations wants to let us go, man. From HVAC to construction to delivery to everything, man. Israelite men are doing this, man. <laughs> we are the backbone of the society, man. But the Lord bringing that to an end. That's why it says in a, oh man, I think it's Jeremiah. I should have got it out. But basically, when all hell breaks loose, man, the, uh, when when Jacob's trouble comes, it says also that uh, our bands, our bonds, will be released from us, man. Esau's gonna lose his grip. That's why he wants. He's gonna want to kill us all because all these companies are gonna fold. The social economic collapse. All the companies are gonna fold. He's like, well, they can't work for me no more. So right now, they're just useless eaters. They're just here taking up space. Breathing in all my Edomite air. That's how they think, man. They're going to come down with great wrath and try to get rid of you. Why? Because partially what I'm telling you right now is, is, is our reward. They don't want us receiving that. Right? Let's continue. Let's go to verse 14. And I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel. And they shall build up. I just said it. And they shall build the way cities. All these nations are going to build up our cities again, man. I'm saying ours because the world is going to be ours again. The world was built for our sakes, man. It's written in Second Edges. The world was the whole entire earth and all the inhabitants, all the animals, all the riches, all the gold, all the people, all the people are for the inheritance of Yahshua, man. Call Halal Yahabash and Yahweh Isn't he good? The sad part is two thirds not going to get it or understand this until the kingdom. And they're going to be forever confounded in their shame, man. They're going to be low level. They're going to be like regular. I mean, they're going to have the laws inside of them. Oh, man, I went back up again. They're going to have the laws inside of them, man. They're going to know the truth. But they're also going to know what the deal was when they was here, man. And they didn't hearken unto it. Yeah, man. Uh, let's continue. Verse 14. And I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel. And they shall build the way cities and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. So we're finally going to have the fruit of our labors, man. There's no more going to be the scraps. I mean, some of us are well-paid paid slaves here, man. But it's no longer. But what we really make here is like scraps compared to what we're making for these Zionist Jews, fake-ass, so-called Jews, Amalekites, who own everything. You know what I'm saying? We're making them the big dollars. You know, but it's going to come to a point where everything... These other nations do for us in, in their servitude and within their captivity. And we're going to reap the, reap the benefits of it. Okay. And I will plant them upon their land and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, say of the Lord thy God. So the Lord's going to put us in our own land again, man. We're no longer going to have to answer to this damn Edomite. We're no longer going to have to fear. We're no longer going to have to go through hell. No more catching hell. It's going to be forever, man. Forever, man. We're never gonna have to go into slavery again. A woman gonna be in order. Man, I just can't wait, man. I can't wait, man. This is our hope. This is our hope, man. This is all we got. This is our hope, man. What else can we hope in? 
Can we hope that the economy is going to get better and that we can keep working a nine to five to barely make ends meet to to then retire and live on a on an underfunded under uh, cost of living social security check and then struggle from that point and then just get old and die? Huh? Is that what you want to look forward to? Or would you rather this shit be wiped clean and come into rulership, man? That's what this is about, man. Call her Lord Yahweh by Hashem, you I'm shot. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 60, verse 5. Then thou shalt see and flow together. Thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. Man, everything they have, man, is coming to us and under our power and rulership and control, man. Everything. We're going to be, there's not going to be a number or an amount that, that, can, that, can, that can describe how rich we're going to be. Starting on this side before the kingdom, man. See, we are. We already went into it during Jacob's trouble. We're gonna have abundance, and, and, and we're gonna have everything these nations have can be converted unto us, man. You know, we started on before Jacob's trouble for the first fruits of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh being 144,000 elect, and going into the millennial kingdom as rulers and forevermore. My God, man! Every time I, every time I just say it, it just makes me just. I just wish, man. I just wanted to hurry up and get here, man. Tired of this place, man. Tired of waking up two in the morning and going to this job, driving this truck and delivering all day, busting my damn back. I'm tired, man. I'm tired of being a servant, man. Two thirds love being servants, though. They're good little, little nigga slaves, man. But this is what we hope in, man. The elect. Yeah, man. It's, oh, everything these, these nations got, man, it's, it's ours, man. It already is ours because it's already written. We're just waiting for the perfect time of the manifestation. And it's already happening now. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 6, 60, verse 9 to 17. Let me read a little bit, okay? Let's check it out. Surely the owls shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee, uh oh you hear that we're going to receive the glory he's going to glorify us the glory of the Lord is going to be seen upon us there's a testimony unto all the other nations or who his children really are okay this is why they're going to get on their hands and knees and lick the dust from our feet man where they belong yeah and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls I told you this these nations are going to build up the cities they're going to build it and we're going to put them to work and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee. For in the Lord's wrath we're getting shot down in the streets. For in the Lord's wrath we got to punch a nine to five or, you know, work a job for the man. For in the Lord's wrath we were hung from trees and our forefathers were, were whipped. For the Lord's wrath we, we're getting shot down in the streets, man. For the Lord's wrath the crack epidemic happened. For the Lord's wrath we were catching hell. From the time we got here to this, from the time our forefathers got here to now, catching hell, man. Being broken down continually, being the bottom of the of the totem pole, man. In the Lord's wrath, these things happen. He smote us. But in my favor have I had mercy on thee, man. But in the Lord's favor, He's gonna have mercy on us, man. And this is our lot. Starting with the 144,000, we're gonna receive it first on this side. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually; they shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Yeah, so our doors in the kingdom, man, our doors in our land are going to be open continually. Why? So all the nations can give us their shit, man. Give us your gold. Give us your woman. Give us everything, man. All of it. You want all your silver, your rubies, your diamonds. All of it is ours. Cough it up. Cough it up, man. Our doors will be open continually so these Gentiles can give us riches. Call her Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. You're going to get put to death. You're going to bow down or you're getting put to death. Thus saith the Bible, thus saith the Lord, man. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted, man. That's how Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to go for us, dog. And we can't repent. We can't submit ourselves unto him. He got eternal glory in store for us. And that's why these two-thirds got to die, man. They don't deserve this shit, man. That's the least we can do, man. 
Let's try our best to be in repentance and try to keep these lost statutes and commandments, man. That's the least we can do. He's subjecting the entire earth. He's subjecting everything unto us, man. Starting with the riches, man. All praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. Man, all these nations hate us, man. Only two thirds can't see it. Like two thirds are like into like the Babylonian Jews hard, man. They're on that that whole everyone's equal, love everybody, love, love, love. We're all equal. That's Babylonian spirit right there, man. Because they don't even feel the same way about us. They don't love us. They don't feel like we're equal to them. They feel like they're greater than us, man. We're at the bottom here, man. Man, Esau is perfectly brainwashed two thirds, man. And really, it's all it's all it's all in deeper it's all in deeper purpose and, de and design, you know. Regeneration and these same two thirds are the same ones that always been around. Same ones put our uh, Hamashiach to death, man. So it's all it's all the perfect purpose and design, man. It ain't for them, right? But let's continue. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. Man, I want to be bowed to. I want my feet licked. I want my feet licked and kissed. I want concubines. I want gold. I want silver. I want diamonds. I want to praise the Lord all the day long and swing and sing sweet songs unto Him, man, unto His throne. I want to bow down to my Yahweh Shai Mashiach. I want all of this. I want all of this. I don't want this, man. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, Akim? And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. They're going to bow down, man. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, everyone hates us, man. So that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal. Oh, man. Call her Lord I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations, forever eternal balling, forever eternal balling. You understand? Ruling. <laughs> That's what this Bible is about That's what this gospel is about man Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles And shalt suck the breast of kings And thou shalt know that I the Lord Am thy savior and thy redeemer The mighty one of Jacob So we're going to take all the resources man Of all these nations man And they're going to happily give it to us They're going to happily give it to us For the thing that the Lord is about to bring unto this earth they're going to fear, man, they're going to fear Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai so much, and they're going to fear the men of the Lord. They're going to fear us, man. <laughs> For the Lord's about to make his face known in this place, man. For brass, I will bring gold, right? For iron, I will bring silver. And for wood, brass. And for stones, iron, man. I will also make thy office of peace and thy exactors righteousness, man. Yeah, so all, all, everything in, these, in, our, in our city, man, that we're gonna have these heathens build, man. Everything that's normally built with brass, they're gonna they're, they're gonna build it out of gold. Everything in the, in the structure and infrastructure that's made out of iron, it's gonna be made out of silver, Slim. Everything that's like wood, the Lord's gonna uh, and the Lord's gonna have that as brass. You know what I'm saying? And everything that's for like building it with stones, it's gonna be with iron. <laughs> it's gonna be solid, man. Solid, man. It's gonna be beautiful, man. Let's jump to Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 14 through 20. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. Let's talk about Israel, the nation of Israel, man. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments. He hath cast out thine enemy. Call her Lord Yahweh. about you. Man, he's about to bring down Esau, man. He's already doing it, man. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. No more, no more wickedness, man. No more abominations, man. No more of our people going off, man. Verse 16. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thy hands be slack. Verse 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. 
he will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing, man. So the Lord wants this too. He's going to be so happy to have us back unto him, man. And to bless the hell out of us. And to subject the entire earth and all of his, of, of his inhabitants unto us, man. He can't wait, man. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee, right? Because the Lord seek contrite hearts, man. If you're happy here, if you're happy here, man, you got to be a two third dog. If you're happy here, you got to, it's, 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 this ain't for you, man. How can you be happy here? The Lord seeks a contrite heart, man. The sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee. The elect are sorrowful right now, man. The elect are blown, dude. The elect are just, just it's just ridiculous here. The elect are pissed off, man. We don't like it here, man. Yeah, the solemn assembly, the, so the sorrowful for the solemn, solemn assembly, Salakia, who are of thee, who are of us, man, the elect, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. We are a reproach here, man. It's a burden, man. But this is our, us picking up our cross, man, telling this unpopular truth that makes the heathen rage and make two thirds angry, man. This is our burden, man. But we do it for you, Shai Hamashiach, because if you love the Lord, you're going to feed his lambs. You're going to feed his sheep. We don't give a damn how two thirds, Gentiles, and heathens, and the Edomites feel about it. We're going to keep pushing it, man. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth. And gather her that was driven out And her is the nation of Israel man Starting with the tents of Judah first Because we are the woman of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach We are the wife, the bride of the Lord It's the nation of Israel And I will get them praise and fame In every land where they have been put to shame Oh my goodness, we're going to be famous man We're going to have fame and praise In every single land on the face of this earth Because we've been put to shame in all four corners of the earth We're going to have fame and praise everywhere in this world, dog. How could you not want this? How could you want America to go on forever, man? When we got this coming. And America ain't going to go on forever. And all these nations are coming in alliance against the whore. They're all mad at the whore. They're all mad at Esau. And they're all ready to put this place in ashes, man. They're ready to blow this shit to smithereens over here, man. And all praises, man. At that time, will I bring you again? Even in the time that I gather you. For I make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. All people, dog. For we're above all people of this earth, man. When I turn back in captivity before your eyes, save the Lord. Man, dog, sometimes I be wanting to cry when I read this stuff, man. Because it's so beautiful, man. I long for this. The elect long for this. We want to get the hell out of here, man. We want to get to the ball in Slim. Jake love the ball, man. We love it, but we're going to do it in righteousness. We're going to ball in righteousness, man. And the Lord's going to ball with us, man. <laughs> He's going to be the host of the balling, man. <laughs> He's going to reverse our captivity and make us a praise and a glory and fame in all the lands that we've been put to shame. We're going to rule the earth, man. And for the 144,000, we're going to get we're going to get a taste of it in Jacob's trouble, man. Daniel chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. This is forever we're talking about, man. We're going to be ruling forever. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, my God. I can't wait, man. I can't wait, brothers. Can you wait, brothers? And I'm going to end it with Isaiah 49. Verse 23 And kings shall be thy nursing fathers And their queens thy nursing mothers They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth And lick up the dust of thy feet And thou shalt know that I am the Lord For they shall not be ashamed That wait for me man We shall not be ashamed for this truth we speak We shall not be ashamed when two thirds come up against us We shall not be ashamed when these wicked ass Jezebel demon possessed women come up against us man we should not be ashamed we're hated amongst in, in the whole world blessed are you for, for for being hated amongst the world man for this is how they treated the prophets of old woe unto you when men speak good unto you man because this is how they spoke of the false prophets of old man we should not be ashamed man this this concludes the lesson man i hope this is edifying for you man i hope you lambs you sheep my fellow elect brothers for the prophets shall be subject unto prophets, correct? You know? Y'all been keeping me fed. All my Akim keep me fed. And now it's time for me to sit on the platter, man. All praise to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah. I pray that this is edifying, man. Salutations to all the um, elders and apostles, man, who help bring out this truth, man. 
you know, and uh, keep pushing to all my fellow brethren, man. We all waiting on this together, brothers. We gonna get the hell up out of here. We're gonna rule. When all hell breaks loose, don't fear it, brothers. Have faith in the Lord. He's gonna hold us down. The transition is occurring now. Call Lord Yahweh Shimi Shai. And until next time, Shalom.